Hi everyone, welcome to the Mama Elephant 11th anniversary release. We can't wait to share all of the fun new products to celebrate the holiday season. The release will be available on September 15th. Today we will kick off day three of the celebration with Make It Merry and Mini Bow Box Creative Cuts. This stamp set is one of my favorites of the release. It's a sentiment stamp set called Make It Merry. I love the way it looks and my favorite one is Bring On The Holiday Magic. It's nice and big. I love all of the loopy letters. I just love it. It also comes with coordinating dies. And I absolutely love it when sentiment stamp sets come with matching coordinating dies um, because you can stamp it to the side and cut it out. You don't have to stamp directly on your card and, you know, make a mistake. You can just stamp it, cut it out and paste it on top of your card base, which I totally love. Today we will be making four favorite boxes out of the mini bow box creative cuts. This is what the box looks like when you're done putting it together. It encloses like a pizza box. Here is the larger die in the Creative Cut set and that makes the box itself. The Creative Cut set also includes different little pieces that you can use to decorate your box. It has a mat, a little envelope that you can tuck things into, a two-piece bow set, an outline, and the solid part of it. You can use different colors to create that bow. And it comes with two strips that is part of the packaging of the bow, or you could also use it to stamp sentiments on. I did both. So I like to take this big giant die cut and I like to reinforce the score lines. So I'm just taking the pre-scored lines and I'm folding them in and I'm burnishing them a little bit with a bone folder. I typically use lighter weight paper when I'm doing these boxes, but I'm using a heavy weight paper here and it worked really nicely. Now we're going to put the box together and I'm going to start on the end where there is that little notch. I'm going to take the two mini tabs at the top at the bottom, fold them in, take the two side bigger tabs and fold them over the two mini tabs. And this will create the bottom of the box. I'm using wet glue here, but you can use a strong double-sided tape or a hot glue gun. So now we're gonna work on the top of the box and what we'll be doing is we will glue the two small tabs at the top to the inside of the two sides of the box. And that is it. We'll take the top of the box where there is no notch and we will tuck it to the inside of the bottom of the box and then you'll see the little notch on top so it closes like a pizza box. I'm going to be decorating these favor boxes in a holiday style, but you can definitely use this for any occasion. I'm gonna try to use all of the pieces that come in the set. So first I'm using that mat. I'm also putting glue on the tab part of the envelope, and this was made so you can tuck little things in. So I'm only putting glue in that tab, I'm adhering it to the front. I'm also gluing the top piece of the envelope directly to the mat. And then I'm gonna find something to tuck it in. I'm using one of the upcoming holiday huggers, um, the dog, but I colored it like a beagle and I think it came out so cute. I'm gonna leave the inside of the envelope free of glue and I'm gonna only put two dots of glue at the top two corners of the envelope to adhere it to um, the mat. Um, now I'm going to put the sentiment. I'm using one of the strips that came and the set and then I'm going to use an old stamp set holiday messages and I'm going to stamp a little sentiment on it and then I'm going to adhere that to the envelope just to decorate it a little bit more. I love the idea of being able to tuck in things inside the little envelope. So you can fill in your favor box with anything you like. I did fill these up with candies um, at the end of the video. So here's today's stamp set, Make It Merry, and it's a sentiment set. 
And as always, I like to prep my stamps if I haven't used them before. So I haven't used this one before, so I'm just kind of roughing up the stamp. Um, sometimes I run an eraser on top of it, or I will also run my finger um, on it, and that'll make the stamp nice and ready for some ink. I am obsessed with red sentiments, so I'm going to use my Mama Elephant Apple ink. This ink um, ink pad is super dry. I've had it for five years, but I just keep using it, and I just keep just stamping until I get the desired look, and I just love these sentiments so much. Um, I'm using them in the next video as well, but I thought these would be nice toppers for the holiday favor boxes that we're making. This stamp set also comes with coordinating dies and it looks incredible. These are what the dies look like and this is what it looks like cut out and I just adore the look. I love it against um, a colored uh, background. It looks really, really nice. For the next favor box, we're going to be using the bow and the two strips. So um, the two strips are sized to where one fits perfectly horizontally and the other one fits perfectly vertically. And then you would put the bow in the middle. I decided to do a pink box um, with the white packaging and white outline. Um, and a pink bow and it looks so super cute. I love it. I would totally use this bow for other things also for other projects. I wouldn't just use it um, for the box. So that's what the pink box looks like. Now I'm going to decorate the last two boxes. I tried to pick uh, holiday colors. So the first one is a light blue with a pink mat. Um, I'm doing an all red box. I've popped up the sentiment die cuts um, and that way I can take some of those peppermint candies and tuck them behind and the peppermint candies came from the sweet shop frame creative cuts that we took out took a look at on the first day. So for these two just super simple but I just love the way the sentiment is um, fills the top of the box nicely and then when you pop it up you can tuck those little peppermint pieces um, behind it for more decoration. So I thought I'd fill these little favor boxes up with some candies. It's summer right now so they didn't have any Christmas candies out so I got these uh, gold package ones. They're the Hershey toffee with almond and yes I ate them all. I was kind of stressed out because I'm I was thinking, I hope I have enough for the video. So that's why I'm only putting two in real life. If I was going to give these out, I would probably put five inside because I think five fits. But I did eat them all. So um, for the sake of the video, we're putting two each. And that is it. I'm calling these favorite boxes done. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome day. Stay safe, happy crafting, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.